What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be giving updates on one of my favourite stocks at the moment in the form of High Tide, ticker symbol HITI, which is a Canadian cannabis stock. So today I want to go through three or four different things. Firstly, we look at my current position and see how this stock's performing over the last few days on the charts on Trading212. We'll then give a brief update on the war doc that I've accumulated over the past few months in all about all of their catalysts and fundamentals and see if there's any updates there as well. And thirdly, I want to give an update on some interesting articles that I've found over the past day or so as well. And finally, we'll go through my plans going forward for this stock. And with all that being said, let's dive right on into today's video. Here we are on Trading 2 and 2, and just in context, if you haven't seen any of my prior videos, High Tide, ticker symbol HATI, is one of 33 holdings overall in this portfolio. And at the time of buying this stock first, it was my only penny stock in this portfolio, but I'm sure you're aware now it's no longer a penny stock. And we currently have about €10,083 Euro and up 20.44% overall in this portfolio. But now let's see how High Tide is doing in comparison to my other positions. Now every time I bring up High Tide, it's quite ironic, and I say that every time as well, that is probably one of my worst performing positions at the moment out of all 33. However, which we'll see in a few seconds, I really do feel still that has huge potential going forward when we look at the catalyst and fundamentals. But as it stands, we have about 39.13 shares of high tide here. We're down about 12% at the moment, or 33 euro. We have a small enough position, about 250 euro at the moment. But again, down 12% is quite a lot in my opinion, considering that they have so much going for them. Now, at the moment, they're currently trading about $7.62, as we can see on screen. On the one month chart, it's not looking good. It's on 16.38%. On the one week, it's down over 9%, and even on the one day chart, it's down just under 3%. Now, the dotted line here is my average price currently at $8.79, so there's about $1.10 or so difference between the current and my average price, so there's definitely a lot of room here for getting down my average cost, and hopefully in the long term, making more of a profit. Now, as stated, why I'm going to be buying more of this stock, obviously, is because it's down 12%. So it's going to really drag down my average cost, which again, as I just said, long term will make the bigger difference and get you a bigger profit. But now we'll kind of have a brief look at the fundamentals and catalysts that I've noted down over the last few months and show why that because it's down 12%, this is definitely a steal. So on screen now, we can see the word doc that I've accumulated over the past few weeks or months in terms of some catalysts and fundamentals and why I believe High Tide is a great stock going forward. Now, it's not just with penny stocks. Or any stock you should in my opinion you should always kind of make a list of catalysts as fundamentals going forward for any company even if the blue chip companies even like coca-cola etc this is always very handy to kind of go back to if the stock is down in value it kind of reinforces your kind of beliefs and or fundamentals and why you bought into a stock first day now on screen we can see there's quite a few here but the highlighted ones are the kind of more updated ones at the moment the other ones were kind of over the past few weeks or months now, ever expanding, even though I wrote this in at the beginning of researching the stock, it's definitely continually expanding. And again, it's targeting into the US at the moment as well. So that's a huge here, in my opinion. Obviously, it's great to be in the Canadian market as well within this sector. However, to make the big money, like most things, you need to enter the US market and global. So again, they're definitely making good strides here as well. We also have the likes of ETFs that they're going into. For example, there's one THCX at the moment. Now that definitely is great for the stock as well because it increases their exposure across different clients and institutional investors, etc. So this will only be of added benefit to stock as well. We also have the one here, and that was probably one of the biggest catalysts as of late, was that they got approved the NASDAQ. Now a lot of people weren't happy with the 14 or 15 to 1 reverse stock split that happened when this was a penny stock. Obviously it's no longer a penny stock, but people weren't happy then, but it had to be done to get onto the NASDAQ. Now, as you can imagine, getting onto the NASDAQ opens up a vast array of new opportunities as well. And as I did state, once I got onto the NASDAQ, I wasn't going to buy in for a few weeks. And that's because I had to consolidate down again after the hype, just like any other stock. And we can even see that earlier, even on the three-month charts, it's down about 16% or so. So definitely, you should never buy the hype. You should all just leave things kind of die down again. We've seen that in my clean energy stocks as well. Once Biden became president, after that, it kind of started to consolidate down. Once the hype and the kind of all those kind of investors started to get out of the stocks. So that's definitely a big tip here, is not to buy the hype. So again, that NASDAQ was of huge importance, but since then, it's started to consolidate down a bit. We also saw the quarter two earnings on June 28. Again, there was no surprise here, in my opinion as well, that how good they were doing over the last few quarters. I think this is the fourth quarter since following this stock. 
that they've done extremely well. Like you can't fault anything on their reports. And even if you're putting if you put them in on Google, it's very hard to find any negative news on this stock at all. That's why I really like high tide because it's very hard to fault them. Every business opportunity they're undertaking is really paying off. And again, it doesn't really it doesn't really constitute the average price currently at this stock. It doesn't tie up at all, in my opinion. Down 16% on three months, absolutely crazy for a stock with so much potential. Again, this isn't an exhaust list at all on screen. There's so many more as well. That's why I'm going to be remaining bullish on high tide. And the final point down here is one that I just added in earlier. And it's actually one that I, I wasn't thinking about myself until I read it in an article. That is that the Canadian market is absolutely saturated in this sector. And you could say, hang on, why would you actually want to buy a company that's sat in a saturated sector? However, we've seen in prior videos as well that High Tide have a large amount of cash reserves and cash flow at hand, which a lot of these other smaller Canadian cannabis sector companies do not have. So I do feel, and we can even see already through the mergers and acquisitions, that they are starting to buy up all of these kind of smaller fish in the kind of in this market. And they're kind of, in my opinion, they have the great opportunity to be the biggest fish or the shark in the sea once they buy up all of these smaller companies. So even though it's saturated at the moment, again, a lot of their competition is a lot smaller than them. So to be able to merge and acquire these positions or businesses going down the line. So long term, I really do believe that high tide could be the likes of Walmart, etc. within the sector. Upon doing research for this video, Seeking Alpha have a very good article up in high tide, which I believe is an overlooked Canadian cannabis stock. Now this isn't as much the case as prior months, for example, most people, even including myself a few months back, didn't even know high tide existed, if that's being honest. And then a lot of people have started to jump on the bandwagon, especially since they got into the Nasdaq and started to gain a bit of momentum. But a lot of those kind of investors that didn't look into the fundamentals or catalysts for long-term investing have jumped out of the stock already, hence why there's been a bit of a dip in the price. Now you can also say, hang on brain, why are you looking at this stock if it's down 16% on three month charts? Now, as a long-term investor, this just poses great opportunities, in my opinion. I don't really invest in stocks that are up 16% in three months because there's not much value there. But definitely at current prices for high tide, I really do believe there's a lot of value. This article makes some very valid points. It kind of backs up everything we've said already in the video. And the first of these is why you should invest in high tide as well, is that they have a strong retail focus and currently have about 89 stores at the moment. Now, they are trying to get to the 100% or the 100th store mark. Very soon, so again, they're ever expanding across Canada. And we can even see here they don't even have stores in like British Columbia or Quebec as well. So that just poses great opportunities for expansion here. Now, one point down below here that I believe they've done great business. And again, as I said earlier, you can't fault any business transactions they have completed over the past few months. And that is that they've acquired Fab CBD, which got them into the US hemp market at very cheap prices. And they're not paying them standing kind of fees or royalties. As such, in comparison to Aurora Cannabis or Canopy Growth, which you can even see on screen here, and that does definitely give them a great competitive advantage. Another point why I'm bullish on this stock is we can even see here on screen the highlighted text here is that there's 64 million shares of standing as of the 25th of June and 540 million market cap. That gives it a run rate of 188 million, and that's trading at less than three times its current sales. And again, as we saw earlier, it's ever expanding, so those sales figures will only go in one direction, and that's up. So again, it's really undervalued in my opinion. Now also it's worth noting that this is definitely not financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor, but in my own personal opinion, I do believe the stock is really undervalued at the moment. Now obviously it goes without saying that getting into the US market properly will be High Tide's huge catalyst as well going forward, probably one of the newest catalysts. And again, they're saying here on screen that they could do this via an acquisition of a small MSO based company, which has retail experience with, that's already based in the US, so it could get in that way as well. And another thing I like about this company, we can see at the bottom here, that the company appears to be focusing on areas that are not focused by LPs at the moment, which limits the competition. So again, you can't fault, and I've said this many times throughout this video already, but you cannot fault High Tide at all for what they're doing. And in my opinion, they're definitely positioned and poised for a great potential going forward within this sector. In terms of my plans going forward for this stock, now, over the last few days, I've been looking at my portfolio to see what I'm going to invest further in. We can see here we're about 10,085 euro at the moment. And overall, the overall market has been in a bit of a bubble. So I was, or I do want to become a bit more cash heavy and start loading up in cash. Particularly when my blue chip stocks are so up in value at the moment, I want to wait for dips before buying there. However, High Tide, as stated, is probably one of three out of my 33 portfolio slash stock ETF 
companies that are in the red at the moment and it's probably down the most it's down just under 12 percent so this is probably one stock i will be buying more of this week probably thursday or friday now as i said it's down about 12 percent at the moment and we have just under 40 shares so i don't do anything crazy here just probably buy a few probably even let's say two or three maybe even four stocks more in this ET er, in this stock which will again drive down my overall average cost and if it goes down further in value over the next few weeks i'll continue to buy more and more so with all that being said that brings the end to today's video i just want to give an update on high tide ticker symbol hati which is a canadian cannabis stock i wanted to give updates on their current position and some of their catalyst fundamentals and how they don't correlate with the current share price and why i believe this stock is undervalued i'd like to know in the comment section below if you hold this position and if so how many shares you have and if you have any kind of predictions in terms of share price by the end of this year so that's the end of today's video thanks very much if you made it this far enjoy the rest of your tuesday and i will see you all in tomorrow's video